Right now, there are 1,738,000 people living in Santa Clara County. Of that number, there are at least 7,000 people who cannot feed themselves. A fifth of those homeless are children. This means that over 1,400 children are looking for food every day. As one of the most developed communities in the world, isn't the prosperity of all of our citizens a worthwhile motivation? 7,000 is only a small portion of those who starve. In Santa Clara County, only 188 million of the 384 million needed meals are provided to those who are unable to feed themselves and their families. Although 188 million seems like an achievement, this is only 49%. This means that of the 384 million meals, a little over half is missing. Is it really that hard to provide for them? Amanda Mateo was one of those who had to face the reality of not being able to feed her own children. As a mother of two, Mateo says that it broke her heart to realize that she couldn't afford a bag of grapes or something as basic as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for kids' lunches. Like Mateo, there are many others in this county who have to go through this terrible and distressing situation. This situation should not be condoned in one of the most prosperous counties in the world. Meanwhile, in Santa Clara County, each year, hundreds of pounds of perfectly edible food are thrown away. Every day, according to the San Jose Archives, 0.47 pounds of edible food are needlessly discarded. Though this amount seems very inconsequential, 171.55 pounds of edible food per year are being wasted when it could be used to feed our less fortunate. Using this surplus food, we can greatly reduce the amount of missing meals in Santa Clara County. Second House Food Bank currently has a plan for a grocery rescue, a program that allows the food bank to collect food that is close to expiring from retailers in an attempt to increase the food given to those who need it, as well as limiting a large portion of our food waste. This program relies mostly on many partner agencies spread out across the Cupertino and Santa Clara County to collect expired foods from the countless amount of grocery stores and distribute them to the various food banks. One such program is called Cupertino's Food Pantry, which delivers $600,000 worth of food to a bit over 2,000 Cupertino residents a year. According to Joan Sanborn, this otherwise perfect program is sometimes deterred by the lack of proper equipment in these agencies. Proper tools such as thermometers, specialized blankets, and refrigeration units are needed to effectively transport this food. At a cursory glance, these products may seem expensive, but in reality, a unit of thermometers and special blankets blankets has a combined cost of $92. If the entire $1,000 were to be sent to one agency, then the effect would be in the in Group we know in Santa Clara alone, the food one agency is capable of distributing would increase exponentially. This change would also inspire new and current delivery agencies to continue or begin their charitable actions. This food that the hungry need, especially meat, which is the most essential of the donated products, could be collected more efficiently. Unfortunately, Second Harvest Food Bank is unable to divert enough of its budget to help these agencies because of their other services. With our plan, however, Grocery Rescue will have a far greater effect on the community, greatly reducing the amount of missing meals. This plan is both simple and effective. As specified by the contract, the $1,000 will be used to greatly improve an existing plan instead of barely kickstarting a community-wide program. This small change would have a permanent effect on the delivery process and would also have a long-term effect for the hungry. With just $1,000, we can drastically reduce the amount of missing meals and in turn, improve the lives of those struggling to feed their children and families.